When it comes to deploying influencing strategies, there are two temperatures that can be applied to each, warm and cool. Whether an influencing strategy is warm or cool depends on how you steer your trust of others. Exhibiting a high trust of others makes the influencing strategy warm, while adopting a low trust of others makes it cool. If we apply this to the stabilizing strategy, we can contrast two different paragons of warm and cool stabilizing. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, William and Kate, exhibit a warm stabilizing influence. They have a high trust of others, which makes the public feel included in the process of evolving the role of the monarchy in a modern Britain. By comparison, while Abraham Lincoln also used the stabilizing strategy, he utilized the cool variant. He exhibited a low trust of others, personally overseeing and shaping the ideas that would serve as the foundation for America's reconstruction following the Civil War. Knowing when to use the warm or cool variant of an influencing strategy is important, as each will be effective in different situations. For example, warm stabilizing is required in contexts where an individual's ability to make decisions is tempered by the necessity for people to feel included in the decision-making process. On the other hand, cool stabilizing is powerful in situations where there may be opposition or resistance to the foundation being established and a firmer hand on the tiller is required. Learn to steer your trust of others and master warm and cool influencing. You stay data-driven development.